just found a house that she's uh, looking to buy. Um, one just came up literally today. So or, uh, that's what delayed me, but done the painting I need, evidence. So um, yes, let's get this back. Um, so I've changed how it's moving. Um, when we move, uh, when the ghosts move, um, there's two things I want to do now. Now we've got the, um, oh. oh yeah. Now I've got um, the ghosts. We've got the we've got the plan on. The next thing to do is. Oh, we need to stop them from going anywhere apart from um, within um, this bit, the uh, you know where the dots are and blah de blah de blah. So we can do that quite easily. Oh, I've made the ghosts the wrong thing. Um, what was I going to make the ghosts? Pack's going to be that. Um, the ghosts. Don't need that anymore. Ghosts are probably spent the sun. Is me. Um, so rather than where do we set them up? Where do we set the ghosts up? We need to set them up to be statically assigned to start up here. So um, don't need that. Um, and we do. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Um, so ghost. One equals, and then GY equals uh, one equals what have I got them to be? Is it 12, 13, 14, yeah, 12. Right, so that's them set up in the right place. And that should put them inside the square. And then I have the ghost colors. So, um, GG echo one equals Two five, two five three four, two five three four. And what we can do is get rid of that and put it in where the ghosts were set up this. So we've now got colours. So then, um. Okay. 
so I don't need this anymore because what we're going to do is a ghost is going to pick up what it's reading before it moves move and then we'll restore it after we've moved so this is the movement bit so we're poking so before so two 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 one uh, two two twenty no and then what have I got so one two three four All right so the next one is rem ghost color ghost pre-move in fact what I could do is let's just put that on there so we're gonna have GG um, oh I should have a GC ghost color ghost pre-move um, ghost color so um, okay now the ghost color pre-move will go down before the ghost gets moved. So twenty one hundred is moving the ghost. So here. So the first thing we need oh no we don't. It's um it's here, it's before we move the um ghost ghost. GG, I drive GP. Um, Z equals peak. And then it's all of this. One, two, three. Okay. And then, and then what we will do is here. beginning of the routine um, it's GP and that will be the pre so that I think is enough for us to get the ghost running stuff behind and that is now ghosts are changing color because we don't poke the color onto the screen so we now need GCO bracket 4 um, so we need a, a pre-color So exactly the same. Um, and 
and that's going to be ghost uh, the pre-color and this is going to be equal to where we pick it up that's where it gets picked up from and then we need to run this one again um, but that's not going to be it's going to be ghost color That should now give me the colors. They retain their colors and don't destroy color. Now I've seen that before. Um, I couldn't figure that out. Um, They do seem to be falling up and down left and right, but see now what I need them to do is to obey. Uh, we need to have, um, we need to be yellow. We don't need to be, but we should be. Why am I adding us in? Now in exactly the same way we should have um, Um, we should return that back to how it was before. So we're going to have um, pack color equals seven. Um, screen color. at the wrong place that needs to be here and then that needs to be a poke with a C so we're picking it up, changing the colour, and when we do the when we return it back, we're putting it back to the original colour. 32 gets rid of the dots, leaves it with a space. It actually won't leave it with a space. I think the zero is a space. Now we'll have a look. Uh, 
certainly not. Um, yeah. That should be a zero. Um, it's in the wrong place. Starting point. already very slow. So it's got to move all four of them. So 17. Um, We have a one more, right? Okay, so now we can do the testing. Dead easy to test. So let's do pack first. We don't need these lines anymore. So, um doing that math. I wonder if I should change that to be um Yes, yes. Um, my daughter found um, a house that literally just come on the market. It's a little fisherman's cottage, and um, it's very close to the seafront as well. And so um, it's a stone cottage, and uh, the estate agent's literally just shut. So we were having a look at it, and um, online, and it looks very um, nice. So. Um, Hopefully go and see it on Monday if we can't see it tomorrow. No, there's pointless to be doing this. Let's put all that back. Absolutely pointless. Okay, don't need that. So I'm just going to do the bit that restricts Pac-Man and then the ghosts. So if... to the dot mm. fucking hell I can't remember the I um fifty nine 
if it's not equal to a dot. Which is 59. Or. Oh, right, no, this will be, this would lend itself to having a variable. Um, SX equals that. If SX does not equal 59 or SX does not equal It's a zero. I'm sure it's a zero. If it doesn't equal a zero, then um, then three hundred, I guess. Because that will stop it from moving. Um, we don't want it to move. So, where is he? Yeah, um... Is it and? Oh yeah, yes, it is an and. So that name's I can't go up now. Oh. So, um, bloody brackets because addition is second to is before it's done after multiplication. I think that's what it was. So I'll go left and right. Can I go up? No, can't go down. But I can do go down there. Okay, so in that same way, um, for that exact same way, we can do the same with the ghosts. We do it in the loop. And I think it is done. Oh, I don't need this. Now I don't need that. Oh, uh, actually, I can leave that. I don't need that. We'll still get the things to change. I'm wondering if I can put that. I can put this later. No, I can't. Uh, that could be 40. 35 and 30 to give me some space so um
Right, I need to change the way this happens now. Um, ghost direction. And the way that's going to happen is... And GE. So, and G, D equals zero. Because we need to reset that, because it won't reset otherwise, because we're putting it into a variable. And that's G, E equals minus one. Oh, sorry, zero. And that's G, E equals zero. So now I've got those saved, I can use that. So I think I can do it here now. So one, one, two, two, five, three, three, five, four. Let's get rid of that. Oh, actually, twenty-one fifty. Rick trick. Hello. Yeah, this is only because um, I'm doing. Um, I've been doing Pac-Man for oh, a bit. I'm fairly new to machine language, and I keep getting stuck and um, a bit overwhelmed with it. Um, check next space so um, I'll show you ah oh so you might have just already um, you may have already seen it but where's Pac-Man V1 I think it's this one Um, if I run that, so this is the one I wrote, wrote in assembly, um, and I think, is it on here? No, here. Oh, it's on warp. Um, the um, see, I can't get them to go up and down very well. Um, they have to be really lined up, and so I thought if I um, If I um, line them up using uh, characters and stick the sprite on top of it and then smooth it in between, it would probably get me further than I have done up to now. Um, the truff is that. Oh, it's a bookmark. So, um... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I've done. A, I've done actually done a video dedicated to number plan, number random number generation on on an emulator. It's much easier on a real machine, um, which is there's one there and there's one up there, and I've got a one twenty eight coming. So if you've seen the first, that means you know. Okay, see, so well, the, the, I've just done one literally before lunch. My wife um, called me down because they were painting the kitchen, and I had to put the lights back up and. I'm just now at the point where I've got Pac-Man to only go in the uh, only go in the um, uh, the pathways, and I'm about to put the ghosts into the same thing. Um, so Pac-Man will not go anywhere else; it just doesn't doesn't let it. Um, I also need to get rid of that line because when I do the ghosts, they won't come out. Um, because I need to um, actually, I just I'll do that now. I need to remember which line it's on. Um, what line? 
turns it on. It's that one there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fourteen. So fourteen from the bottom. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen. Ah, it's that one there, that's these two. So if I copy that, make it one, rem this, ooh. And here, we change that to zero and zero. That'll give me the space. CBM version 4, so this would be, I talk about the Mega 60, no, it's not the Mega 65, CBM version 4, never heard of it I suppose, um, you'll have to um, enlighten me what you mean by the CBM version 4, let's google, um, let's look on, oh, right, CBM uh, Program Studio. Uh, when's it being released? Don't know. Um, quite. Um, there is. What does AJ say? Still quite a few bugs in it. Um, let me just quickly find out. Um, uh, old school. If he's got anything in here. I think he, uh, so it's not, nothing in there. Um, anything on his Discord. Don't know if he's. We'll find out. Um, so um, I've now got a space. So um, so the next thing is the ghosts already pick up. The ghosts restore. Um, we just need to check before we move a ghost now whether it can move there. That can move on a. Oh, that can move only on the same as well. It's exactly the same check um, where have I just done that here, here, here. so it's going to be the guess, exactly the same um, check for the ghost um, so ghost move do I care does it need to be kept no it doesn't so um, it doesn't need to be kept, so twenty one fifty. So tw twenty twenty two ten. We need to catch up now. I nearly forgot. So 
gx equals gx plus gd colon oh no it's not it's ge gy equals gy plus gd and that's now up oh z fucking hell so they will just be um, right, so that's now updated that, which has made that right. In fact, let me just run. That's just all work. Which it does. Right, so now I've got to restrict it. So here. Um, And this is that peak. Um, so I'm going to do SY. And this is going to be GY over Z plus GD plus GX Z plus GE. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that means we've done the addition ourselves. Because, right, okay. So that is right. If SY does not equal 59. And zero and sy not equal oh no equals 59 or sy equals zero then 2210 go to 2230 so if it is a space or it is a dot it's going to do all the stuff, otherwise if it's not, it's going to go to Z. I just think that makes it easy. Uh, so now, I don't think they'll leave the room. Well, they might do, yeah, there's a gap, isn't there? Oh. but the change in direction each and every time. And that's something I need to stop. So now I want it to stay on that route until it hits a wall. And now I want it to stay on that route until it hits a wall and that's this bit here. So I'm just going to move it to here. This is going to be 62. Right. 
so that means if it hits a wall it's going to change direction and randomly um, Q equals int times a hundred plus one colon if So I need to put a random element in so the ghosts can every so often stop the route they're going and change direction. Where does that need to go? If Q is smaller than 2, then... Um, following Pac-Man is a future update that you will make for the ghosts. Don't know what that means. Sorry. I think that's wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's not wrong. I just have to copy this line. These lines. It's me. I'm just not... In the real game, the ghost would always... Yes. The ghost would always try and kill Platman. You're absolutely right. And that is also because I've got the arcade machine here. Um, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing as well. But at the moment, I'm just getting... I'm trying to get the ghosts to... Not go through the walls, which I've done. To... Um, to I want them to go in a straight line now. And only change direction when they hit a wall. Um, because that's what they need to do. Um... And except at the moment they're just going randomly all over the place. Uh, I'm trying to get them to go in the same direction until they hit a wall, and then they'll change direction. They can go back on themselves or go up, and that'll be random. Which is this bit here, uh, which is why this this was being run. This random thing was being run all the time. Now I said, um, if it's if it's safe to go ahead, then just carry on going ahead, which is twenty two ten. Um, but before it does that, I've put in a, a this is another random one, so less than two percent. If it's less than two or one, it's always between one to a hundred. So if it's one or two, then it will go down to here, it will change its direction. I then need to check that, that direction's good for it to change. Um, otherwise. Um, GD equals naught colon GE equals naught, which means it won't have changed direction. It can then carry on, and the ghost will effectively stop. Oh no 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 no! no. That's better. I will go to twenty one sixty two. It will try again, and it will try another direction. Once I've done all of that, um, I will make 
in this in this random generator, I'm gonna put another one to say if every wrong. Um, mm, I could do it at the wall, or I could do it at every. Um, no, I will only do it at the wall. Um, I will make it so that um, it might be that I need to always make the the ghost go toward Pac-Man, and that's just by comparing the variables within the ghost to where I am and if it's higher then make it go left if it can or if it ought to go down until it meets up um, but I don't want it to get caught in a that's where the random thing will come in and if it gets caught on the bottom left and I'm here and it can't if I'm if I'm down here and it goes gets to here it can only go up and left we have to make it go up but at, right now that's this is the bit I'm hopefully unless I cock it up um, which is very likely. Um, so they're going up and down. Oh! Ugh. Yeah, something not right there, is there? Oh, oh! No, it's definitely not. We just killed it. I've just killed, killed it. Fifty nine is the dots. It's got to be an ore. It's definitely an ore. I put an and in. It's got. Uh. uh if S Y equals. Or is that wrong? Um. Put the ghost off at the um, top left. It's in the wrong place. Um. Oh. Oh, it is moving. But it's only moving one square at a time.
That happens quite a lot. Yeah, no, it's meant to be when they hit a wall. And I can't work out why. There's meant to be an element of... Um, take it out moving at all. Okay, I'm going to put, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay. Um, Um, yes, I know what the problem is. Yes, I know what the problem is. We need to have, um, um, one for each of the ghosts. It's a bot. Um, so yeah, I need to. Ha I'm going to um, store. GDGE 
it is. GDGE should also be. I just didn't do it. GD. And now, I can run that when I set up the ghosts at the top, and that will give them some movement. What do I do? I'm sure I do a four loop. I do, there's one there. So I'll just put it in here. Is that enough? Because it will only check that. So actually, I need GD. Okay, no, no, it's that then. So um, GD. Between one and two. GE Oh no that's not right either. Ah oh, do you know what? Forget it. G dead equals one. Let's see if that gets them going. Copped up something else. Um, it's the look ahead's not working right. So That's just flashing, that's not moving at all because there is no movement. Um, okay, let's do that. Um, I'll do what I would have done if it was in. force it. So uh, we're going to force the start on each of them. Um, so I don't see it hitting that now, which is fine. Um, so we're doing that. I think I should put it in here. Um, if ST for start is equals one then T 
2216T. And that will give each ghost a direction. I hope. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and when we get to this, STZ equals zero. And that's cleared that flag. I've not set it to be one. Or did I? And I've forgotten. Oh, because if I hadn't defined it, ST would have been empty, which means it still wouldn't have gone around because. Um, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. So that's setting that up. It's now equal to one. Hopefully, this will kick it. There we go. Got movement, but I still got this. It's missing something. It's missing the check right. So, okay. Oh, hang on, G, Z. Z. It's crashed. I wonder if I've got some sort of loop in it that is. Alright, so going now, it's now going to go that way, the green, till it hits the wall. Okay, now it's going down. But look, it's stopped. What's causing that? Yeah. Um, I prefer machine language, but um, so in the main loop, print. I think I've got something in a loop. Basics, um, I used to always use basic and then um, I found machine language really hard but I think it was also because I was young and there was no real um, 
development environment you had to in, in days of old they used to develop on a PC and then stream it into a um, into a uh, a Vic to the serial port so you could use all the memory correctly um, if you had it on a cartridge or as a program I, I tried machine language and it just crashed I'm still really new at assembly I've written a bomber game drop a bomb and that was okay I just bit off more than I can chew no so this is definitely frozen now oh it's not 2190 what's it what's happened at 2190 okay so it's not memory so print SY, we'll get it to print SY. Oh, oh, I wonder, see, that's another one, isn't it? I bet all of this needs to be in. No, it doesn't. Does That one definitely doesn't need to be in an array. Um. Yeah, I mean, John's still very skilled. It's 2170, it's like... Again, look, the colours, it's not changing. So it does get there straight away, 2162. And that's what I was expecting, because that's when it's starting. Print T. See, that infers to me that it's not. something wrong with I've just crammed it in too tight yeah but it's it's I haven't fixed it. it's locking up somewhere and they're not moving and I don't know why um, cuz I've got to get that right and then I can
Oh, hang on. I wonder. That could be why. That might be the cause. Because I bet if I if I go colon t equals naught, I bet t is always greater than fifteen. Um, let's find out. why so um, that will now do it I don't care what the color is we'll just make it go into a loop um, 2162 oh oh 2105 changing colour now when it's when they're okay so I know it's in that routine so I now don't care this is inside the four next loop there's no breakout so what I will do is move them up to be on row 10 close that door and then we'll see what goes on So it's not changing, it's only changed direction now when it hits a wall. Does that stop? Twenty one eighty.
Um, what if I do it without touching the keyboard? What if it's the keyboard buffer filling up? I think it's that pike. I think it's that one nine eight. Oh no, no. See, look. Okay. Well, it's not that then. So okay. Um, so now I know that. I can just go to uh, Z equals one to one. And just keep it down to two, two ghosts. Oh no, uh, I just, I don't want to get hung up on it. It's just meant to be. thing it's not hanging now either so I have two ghosts I just wonder if they were just fucking around with each other And now, we need to make him come to me. And we know where that is. So here, at um, Seven two. This will be two one seven one. Come on, go to twenty one eighty. Two one seven two is if if the ghost. GX open Z if the ghost Z X is smaller 
then packed x then gd z equals one colon g e z equals naught colon go to two one eighty so this is checking the making it go to me if it's greater than px then gdz equals minus one this will be gd gd g e g e minus one g y g y and that should be p y so if the ghost y is greater if it's bigger than py which is the pack y then if we can make that movement to make it go towards it and then it does the check and then if it allows it it will do the stuff otherwise it will go back to 2162 and do a random one so we've got a one in two chance of oh, I should just make it two shouldn't I if q equals one because there's no point it Oh, no, that's, um, that means it will always try and go left first, then it will always try and go right, then it will always try and go, that will become a bit of a, well, we can randomise that as well later. Let's see if this works in principle. Well, I don't know if it's getting to that. See if it does get to it. Two one oh five. odd. Never had that before. And that was 
then up here. Don't get that. Not sure, Rick. Um, I will. I I don't. I did one scheduled. I think last Sunday, and I do have um, the one on Sunday was about doing vertical smooth scrolling, and I had to leave it um last week. So, um, but that's an assembly. Um, I'm basically trying to do in my head what um, sh uh, uh, old school has done in his hunchback on the four-way scroller but I'm trying to do it myself um, and I did the horizontal one so uh, it might be tomorrow evening um, so yeah all right have a good one achieve what I wanted to achieve. I just haven't um Well, what's that? I wonder if it's um run out of memory. Cause that wasn't broken before. See? So that was a memory thing.
so it is it is working but there's still flawed logic in all this which I'm gonna have to look think about and come back to on another video because it's only changed our direction when it hits a wall and it needs to change direction when it hits a junction and what I'm thinking is making another character that's the same and um, when it hits that character it will then look to change direction but I'll think about that alright so thanks for joining and um, enjoy the whatever you know the uh, catch up thing alright trip